Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I am Marcelo Lou and the Headless Creator. And as always, you know where I'm pointing at my email address. Feel free to send me an email uh, to marcelo at headlesscreator.com if you have any questions, comments, ideas, anything you'd like me to uh, talk about in the future for future lessons, feel free to send me an email. Uh, I'd be glad to uh, to uh, do that. So um, as uh, today, we're going to be talking about uh, task comments and workflows in Contentful and how do you use those uh, for a more efficient communication between your teammates when you're authoring your content within Contentful. Um, there is a variety of ways to use them and, and we're going to touch upon all of those. We're going to talk about what you could currently do today and we have a, a wishful uh, list for contentful things we'd love to do in the future um, as the app is enhanced. So uh, with that said, you know how this works. I'm going to show, tell you about headlesscreator.com real quick. For those of you watching live, thank you for watching it. I really appreciate it. But if you don't have an account, please register at headlesscreator.com get your free account there you'll have access not only to this lesson uh, which will be available on demand right after i'm done but you also have access to the entire course which has tons of lessons as you can see there's a bunch of presenters um, including myself and there's a bunch of lessons there uh, lots and lots of lessons you also have access to um, all all the other courses um, that I offer. So I have the content modeling weekly course, which you know I do every Monday and I model a bunch of stuff. Um, you have access to the Discover Headless Tech uh, course and all the other focus on courses. Uh, so please go register. You know, I'm trying to hit 1000 registered users by the end of the year. I think I'm about 35 away from 1000 registered users. So I'm hoping that by the middle of this month, maybe by the end of this month, I'll hit that, so I'm way ahead of schedule, but you can help out by just doing that for me. So uh, that's it. That's all the marketing I'm going to do about Headless Creator, so just go get your free account. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and restart the uh, intro because for the on-demand version, there is absolutely no marketing at all. I'll jump into the lesson, so I'll see you in just 10 seconds. Well, hello, hello, and welcome to another lesson of the Focus on Contentful course. I am Marcelo Lewin, the Headless Creator. As always, get a hold of me right there, marcelo at headlesscreator.com. Send me uh, any questions, comments, feedback, ideas, whatever you have, uh, send me uh, via email. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, today, I'm going to be uh, talking to you about tasks, comments, and workflows in Contentful and how you can use those tools that Contentful provides to be a more efficient uh, content author and to enable better communication between your teammates. So let's let's just jump right in. Um, there's a lot to cover. So there we go. Let me uh, move this out of here and we'll start with uh, here we are in Contentful. Alrighty. So we're going to start with tasks and tasks are just those to do items that you can assign to yourself or you can assign to other users. Um, and those tasks need to be completed before you can publish uh, um, an entry, right? In this case, I'm gonna talk about blog articles. So I have a content type, very simple content type. The point here is not to have a complicated content type, but to talk about tasks and show you how they work. Let's go ahead and create a new blog article. And create, and we're just gonna, we're gonna go, here is my new blog article. And we're going to do, here is the body of the article. And I'm going to add a reference, and I'll explain why I added this test reference um, in a second, but I'm just going to add this. We'll click on Publish. OK, so now we have this blog article here, and I just published it. Now here on the right, under the general sidebar, you will see tasks. You should see it by default. If you don't, talk to your administrator, because what they're going to do, they're going to go to the content model under blog, under sidebar, and under available items, they're going to see this called tasks, and they will again enable it. You should see it already by default, but just in case you don't, just say, hey, admin, 
can you go and enable tasks for all these content types? They'll be able to do that for you. All right, once you do that, um, let's make sure uh, I'm covering everything I wanna cover here because I have a list right in front of me of everything I wanna talk about. Let's talk about creating and editing a task for yourself. So we're gonna create a task and I'm gonna say, please review this article for spelling errors. And of course, I'm a horrible speller, so I'm gonna assign it to this user called regular user. I'm gonna say assign to user, create tasks. And then I'm gonna create another task and say, make sure it's ready for translation. Doesn't matter, but I'm gonna assign it to myself. Create task. So now I have two tasks. Let's make a change here real quick. For example, let's get rid of the exclamation marks. And you can see that obviously we can, it's ready for changes or to be published, but it says there are pending tasks preventing the entry from being published. So at this point, um, there are two tasks that need to be completed and completing tasks are really simple. All you do is click on the checkbox and click on it and then this will be enabled. Now, I'm gonna undo this one thing I would like, as, I, as I'm showing you these features, I'm gonna talk also to Contentful here and go, it would be great to have these enhancements. So for example, this one, um, which I have assigned, assigned to a regular user, if I assign to that user, it would be great if I don't, I know I'm an admin, but it'd be great if I, I'm not able to complete it. I should be able to maybe edit it and delete it because I may change my mind, but the completion should be done by the user. Uh, the other thing here, this one I assigned to myself, it says assigned to Marcelo Lewin. I think it would be great if I'm logged in where it says uh, assigned to, it would be assigned to me or to myself or just something that I know is just me as opposed to the, to the names. Um, just minor, minor little uh, changes, but it would be great to have. So at this point, um, a couple of things happen. An email was generated. I'm not going to show you the email um, just because I have a huge inbox. And I don't want to show you everything in there. But an email was generated and sent to the user, the regular user, which happens to be me. So I'm going to go ahead and log out here. I'm going to log back in. And I'm going to log in now as a regular user. And I want you to see what happened. A couple of things happen to the regular user. Let's go to content. Um, when they go into the article, they'll see all the tasks that need to be completed. One thing to note, I, as the admin, created this task. They cannot complete this. They just can't click on it. They can click to see a little bit more information about it, but that's about, about it. They can't uh reassign it they can't change it they can't delete it they can't complete it because it's my task now here's a task i assigned to them now this is a nice feature they cannot delete this task they can't edit it right because i assigned it to them even though it's under their account they can't really um, uh, do much except complete it now how do they know that they were assigned a task well number one they got an email as i explained before um, there is an email that they got and they would click on it and it would take them directly to this entry, number one. But number two, or number two, and also true, under the account here, they can go to pending tasks. And here they will see all of the tasks by article or by content type, right, that they have to do. Um, so here's the task, please review this article, appears in this entry. I would love to be able to see content type here, so then I can just tackle certain content types first if I have a whole bunch of tasks. But then they can click on this, review the task, and look at it, you know, make the reviews, please review this article for spelling errors, and I go, okay, we needed to do that. So we'll go ahead and it's reviewed, so we're good to go on that. Now there's um, an email that's uh, generated uh, that says that the task has been completed, okay? So I got an email that says the task has been completed. Now again, I'm not showing you this uh, just because of my inbox is uh, just tons of stuff, but um, an email is generated, so back and forth. Okay, so now let's go ahead and log out. I'm gonna log back in as the other user, the admin. 
we'll go to my article and then you can see that it has been completed now I could if I wanted to because I'm the one that assigned it I could delete the tasks um, you can't change it um, I mean I could undo this if I wanted to and another email just got generated and now another email got generated uh, by selecting that um, but I can't um, edit the task I can't reassign it to somebody else um, it would be kind of nice to do that because let's say I assign it to this person and this person is out on vacation. Um, maybe just taking it, I would have to delete it and just create a new task. Not a big deal, but it would be nice. And then we have now, I still can't um, change, I can't publish. Why? Because I need to make sure it's ready for translation. And of course, I'm looking at this and yeah, it's ready for translation. So now I can go ahead and publish that. So that's, that's tasks. Um, tasks are fairly simple. Uh, it would be great to have some subtasks or even more like project related. There is a, 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 a Jira app uh, that you can install that where you can track uh, your Jira tickets. What would be nice is to attach a task to a Jira ticket um, and have a communication between there. So I know I'm asking for a whole bunch of stuff here, but these are just some things that I know working in the enterprise um, a real world uh, scenarios where it, they, it would really make us very efficient where you create something in task or I'm sorry in Jira would then would create tasks here automatically for you all right let's make sure I uh, covered a bunch of stuff about tasks because it's not extremely complicated we talked about creating and editing the task uh, we can assign tasks to others we can complete tasks um, we talked about notifications that come via email and also via the pending task right there, right? Now I have no pending task now, right? Because everything got completed, so we're all good. So we're gonna go back to content. So there's no pending task there. Um, we talked about deleting tasks. Uh, remember, admins can edit and delete any task. It doesn't matter who created them, who assigned them to you. As an admin, you can delete or manage all the tasks. As non-admins, you can edit and delete your own task that you created uh, but you can only complete tasks that were assigned to you. That's it. And you can't complete tasks that are don't belong to you at all. Um, okay. And then, of course, tasks have to be completed before a entry can be published. Remember that, which is great, right? Now, um, there are some limits, limits to tasks. Um, there's only, only, I'm going to say only, but you can have up to 100 tasks per entry. Now, I'm hoping nobody has a hundred to do's because I think that's that's the point where you basically just throw away that uh, that entry and create a new one because obviously something went wrong but but that's the actual technical limit is a hundred tasks per entry now um, some enhancements that I'd like to see for the future and I know um, uh, I, I believe they're working already on enhancing the tasks uh, but here are some enhancements that I think would be great um, as I mentioned, change the uh, assigned to name, like regular user, if I'm logged in, I'm logged in as uh, the admin, as assigned to me. That way it's much easier to know which is assigned to me, maybe allow me to filter uh, tasks that are assigned to me. That way I don't get, I don't need to see everything. So maybe here a little pull down menu that says, show me only my tasks, right? Because I really, at the end of the day, yeah, it's great to see all this tasks, but I need to work on my stuff. So that would be a nice thing. Um, also, when I create a task, it would be great to not have to assign it because I believe you have to assign it. So you have to assign it to somebody. It would be great to not have to assign 